So for anybody out there that's going through something right now, and you feel like you just can't get back up, you feel like life has you in a chokehold and you can't break loose, this story's for you. So my daughter was a phenomenal all-state high school basketball player. She had offers from Division I schools all across the country. Not too bad of a student, but she struggled with that ACT and that SAT test. And so that put her in a situation to where if she wanted to achieve her ultimate goal of playing Division I basketball, she was forced to go the junior college route. She had a lot of offers on the junior college circuit as well, but there was one particular school and coach that spoke our language. And so we went down to visit, and the coach told her, she said, like, if you come to my school, I'm gonna have you prepared academically. I'm gonna give you all the drills and all the fundamentals and the skills that you need. When you leave my program in one or two years, you'll be primed and ready to go play for any Division I school that your heart desires. And so we were like, geeked. And so we signed on the dotted line. Everybody was happy, she was happy, I was happy, my family was happy. We came back home, she graduated high school. Fast forward three months, she's off to college, on the college campus, living the college life, and everything was great. I just remember about three weeks, a month into her college life, I was in my bed, tossing and turning, couldn't get a good night's sleep. I wake up, it's about seven in the morning, I get a call, and it's my daughter. I'm like, what's going on, sis? She's like, daddy. I don't know if I can do this no more. I'm like, what you mean you don't know if you can do this no more? I don't think I want to play basketball no more. I'm like, hold it, what you mean? This is your dream. Your dream was to go play Division I basketball. We had everything laid out, everything was set. You've never talked like this before. She's like, I know, but it's just, it just don't feel the same no more. I just, I don't feel like I had the same passion. I'm like, hold it, what's going on down there? Are the girls treating you indifferent? Is the coach treating you indifferent? What's happening? She's like, no, no, everything's good. The coach is great, everything's fine. I just don't think I want to play no more, Daddy. I'm sorry. I'm like, hold up. Now, if you, you, you talk, you're talking crazy. If you don't want to play anymore, I need to call your coach. We need to sit down and have a meeting. We need to get to the bottom of this. We just, we don't quit. And our family, you know we don't quit when we start. She's like, okay. I said, listen, listen let, me, let me talk to your coach. I'll call you back. I'll talk to you later. So I hung the phone up with her and I quickly called the coach. I'm like, coach? She's like, yeah. I said, what's going on? My daughter just called me and told me she didn't want to play basketball anymore. She's like, whoa, that's news to me. I said, is there an issue? Is there something going wrong? She's like, no, man. As a matter of fact, she's like, the girls love her. I love her. She's like the best player on the team. She's leading everything. So that doesn't make any sense to me. I'm like, oh. I said, okay. I don't know what's going on. Something's going on. That's a red flag. I said, well, she's supposed to be coming home this weekend. I said, coach, if your schedule is free, can you come down and maybe we can all three meet up and have a conversation and try to get to the bottom of this? She was like, I'll be there. So, daughter comes home for the weekend, coach comes down, we meet up at a restaurant, and we sitting there. And my daughter is adamant about not wanting to play anymore. I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, coach is sitting right in front of you. If there's an issue, if there's something that she's doing, you need to come clean and let us know. She's like, no, no, daddy, it's nothing she's doing. I just don't have a heart and desire. I don't want to play no more. It's just different. I'm done. And I was like, what? So me and the coach had a quick sidebar. The coach was like, man, she seems adamant that she doesn't really want to play. I'm like, I know. I said, coach, listen, get me through the weekend, see if I can talk some sense into her. And hopefully I can get her straight and come Monday, everything will be back to normal. I'll call you Monday. She was like, okay. And so we head to the house. I get a call from her mom. And she's like, have you talked to your daughter? I'm like, yeah, I'm talking to her right now. I mean, she just came home for the weekend. She was like, no. Have you really talked to your daughter? Like, I thought that's what I was doing. We just met with our basketball coach. She was like, there's something that she needs to tell you. She's withholding information from you. I don't know why she don't want to tell you, but I'm not going to tell you. She needs to tell you herself. I was like, oh, man. So I call her downstairs. I'm like, hey, I just talked to your mom. What is it that you got going on that you don't want to tell me? I'm here to help you. I'm here to make sure everything's okay with you, but I can't help you if you don't tell me what's going on. And she just stood there. And she just busted out crying. And she was like, Daddy, I'm pregnant. And I was like, oh, it's like my heart stopped. Like somebody shot me, somebody stabbed me. I was like, 
I don't know how to deal with it. I'm like, think, 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 because I'm furious. But I know this is not the right time to go off when I need to be there to support us. I'm like, think, 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 think. Okay, okay, okay. Hit me like a ton of bricks. I'm like, okay, let's get in the car. Let's drive. So we got in the car and we just drive. It's complete silence. I'm thinking, I'm like, whoa, I should have got out of hand. As a parent, you don't know how to deal with moments like these. You're not prepared. It doesn't come with a handbook. I look to the right and I saw a basketball court. I'm like, okay, that's our safe haven. And so we pulled into the parking lot, got out, grabbed the basketball, and I'm shooting. And she's passing me the ball. And I'm shooting. And she's passing me the ball. And I'm shooting. And she's passing me the ball. And she's crying. And I'm crying. But I'm shooting. And she's passing me the ball. And all of a sudden, she's like, Daddy, why are we here? And I said, what are you doing right now? And she said, I'm passing you the ball and you just keep shooting. And I said, no, 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 what are you really doing right now? And she thought about it for a second. And she said, I'm rebounding. And I said, exactly. Because that's exactly what you have to do at this moment in your life. You have to rebound. You have to be resilient. You have to realize you still have a dream. And just because you're going to have a baby, that does not stop you from achieving your dream. So anybody out there that can hear my voice, you will go through something in your life. You will deal with disappointments. You will deal with setbacks. You will deal with drama. But you too can rebound. See, in a game of basketball, one team shoots. Both teams attempt to retrieve the basketball if the shot is missed. Whichever team gains possession, they give their team another opportunity to score. So whenever you miss on your shot in life, you don't quit. You don't give up. You work hard. You fight. You scratch. You claw to get that rebound. So you can give yourself another opportunity to shoot. So you can score come back and win.